Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're going to talk about enterprise innovation. Our main project will be in regards to Senior Lemon Healthcare Service Company. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce everyone from the group. This is Philip. He's a Canadian assistant in Malawi. He has a 10 years experience and he's here to develop the business with us. So he's high skillful at everything. We have Doris, which is which is a nurse for the last seven years in Ireland. She knows more than everyone the business. Myself, I'm PR and I'm also the marketing director of the company. And we have Sour, which is going to develop all the HR process, recruit and select the right people for our company. And just one more thing. We're not here to play, we're here to blow some away guys. So I hope you enjoy the presentation. Yeah, as my colleagues say here, we're here to present, um, to discuss about an opportunity that you know we've decided and that our company should go for. Because as you know, Lemon Management Company, that's the name of our firm, it's been operating for over five years and we're all highly qualified. And looking at the market today, we decided to look at an opportunity that can be very good for our business. And we chose Ireland, and we discovered that Ireland is an old age population, you know? And there's a gap in the health and care services when it comes to Ireland, because most of the health care services are provided by uh, government bodies and they're regulated by government. So we decided to set up a private firm which can offer these services to different individuals privately. And uh, our main focus is on um, the grey market. That's the market that we're actually going for because we believe chances of high returns and profits can be accumulated from this market. And we strongly believe that our firm can be a market leader because it's new and it's a private, it will be one of the first private firms to actually offer the services in Ireland, you know. And our opportunity and our goals. Here, as we say, we're highly professionals. We've been working in our different fields for over so many years. And despite venturing into this new opportunity, we have managed other opportunities as well. And we've been successful in those. And he's an HRM director marketing, nurse, and I do finance. Competition in industry. Our, our service will be obviously be competing in the service industry, in the health and care system, and our main competition will be the government. The government in such a way that our firm is willing to build a relationship with the government in a way that we'll be getting services from the government and we'll also be offering services to the government. For example, referrals, like, you know, referencing people who serve in medical institutions and stuff like that. And we'll also be competing with firms, small to large, you know, different companies, from housekeeping to, um, from housekeeping to cleaning companies. Even though this is regarded as competition in a way that, because our firm will be offering different services, which will be later described by my colleague and so all these will be looked at as competition. And my now my colleague will talk about the business plan. Hi, good afternoon everyone. And I'm talking about the, the business plan and our goal will be to provide the excellent service with the reasonable price. And the, our main contents like, uh, will be the home care service. It's like we'll provide the bathing, mobility, and transferring, and feeding, and the additional care service will be the entertainment and for uh, fun for our uh, customers. And as you know, like the bathing is give you the re the refreshment and uh, you feel good after the the bathing relax. The mobility is very important. If somebody is sick, if somebody some problem is like as you know in the old people, especially in the poor country like Ireland. And there is so much problem like the, uh, the orthopedic problems and like uh, blood pressure, or any kind of problem. If you give you, like we will have like the, the nurse and the care staff, they will be like the physiotherapist and someone will be 
like the occupation therapist and the, the different kind of services uh, we will provide to them and the exercise is very good for the health and it will be give uh, a good health for our uh, clients in the mobility and transferring uh, the, the transferring will be the, the, the better position for the uh, for our clients because some clients they can't move uh, properly and if you put in the right position and it will be give like the more comfortable to them and it will feel good and the feeding and some uh, customers uh, everybody want to feed uh, himself but uh, if in the old age some is unconscious they can't eat and we will give feed uh, uh, to them and we will feed them our care staff will feed them and, uh, and for some like the for diet patient and for other the blood drop patient we will prepare special meat, uh, meal for our uh, uh, customer and for the entertainment and fun we will give the senior ball and gardening as you know the, like the reading the books and we will uh, arrange the Christmas party for, uh, uh, for our clients and we will get together uh, our clients because we can't afford like the more expensive service we will like everybody uh, we will like the 10 or 20 or uh, 50 customers we will get together and we will make a fun for them like the gardening and uh, like playing cards and our the executive structure will be the senior management uh, as we uh, our senior management team will be uh, like the same me Douglas, Doris and Philip because we are already running the laner management company and the journal management will be like to operate and controlling our staff to send uh, the staff in different uh, like uh, for, uh, for, the, uh, for the customers and they will uh, control the, uh, the kind of operations and the staff will be the nurse and the care, uh, the care, uh, the, the, the care staff and they will go to the home and they will uh, take care of them and we also provide like the cleaning uh, to the, our customers and the laundry for our customer and that one more important nobody offer like the online shopping for our customer we will go for the online shopping for the customer we will take order from them and then we will online give the online offer uh, put the online uh, uh, offer for them like the Tesco or whatever the, the company uh, give like the online service it will be the, the free free delivery for for them by the shops not by us and and now I'm going to talk to you about the strategy and planning um, obviously because it's a big organization and we're very aware of our planning strategies and this is just uh, an illustration to show you that this is what we're willing to do as soon as we get the investment you know from ready our mission our mission and vision our the current situation which is Ireland being an old age population and our strategies from marketing strategies operation and you know finance as well and marketing being an important strategy that we need to look at so it will be an ongoing process because it will involve monitoring and uh, controlling all the time and I'll just go to the next slide where we're going to look about we're going to look at our resources that we need exactly to Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah, I just want to talk to you about the you know, resource requirement because you know we are very, we are professional investment because we may target that we want to get profit from you know this company. We just want to lose money. So at the beginning, we we have to know, you know what we want to do. What is the you know main service? Why we would choose you know the care system you know the area to investment, and uh, later we should know you know how much money we have and how much money should we get but you know we know that this company is very uh, is, is private it's very small company we don't want to get money from the bank we don't money from get we don't want to get money from you know the the ventures you know capital we just want to money get by my individual so another factor we should concern you know, is the uh, HR department, uh, HR resource. You know, which people, which employee should be recruitment? And another thing is facility. Which yeah, which facility we should buy? Which facility we should rent? So firstly, I will talk about the marketing. Marketing we will we will consult service and marketing yeah 
feasibility, yes. You know, we choose the care, uh, care system, you know, home care. So we think Ireland, you know, in the future, maybe 20, 10, 20 years later, the, the elder people population absolutely grow up. We think, you know, this marketing will continue to grow, grow, grow. So we have no opportunity to get money, get profit from this, yeah, from this area. And another thing we will talk about, you know, competitors and uh, consumer needed and government policy and regulation. And we, yeah, we know in Ireland, the HS, uh, HSE is, yeah, con is control, you know, the health care yeah, department. So we, yeah, so being uh, this, you know, being these investors, we need to contact, you know, we need to obey a lot of regulation and uh, the policy from the HSE. And another thing, you know, management skills and organization feasible, feasi feasibility we need to concern. Because we need, we know if the management has high skill and high good knowledge, it is more. This is more. It's very important for success. You know this whole company. The second factor is finance. So Philip will talk about you know the finance you know plan because he is very he's a specialist in finance. Yeah. Hi again. Um, and now I'm going to talk to you about finance. Yeah, finance is the main important aspect here that we're looking for. And we're looking for 50,000, yeah, 50,000 euros from you, our investors. And for this 50,000, we are guaranteeing you that you, we are guaranteeing that you get 18% of the company after a certain time. And this will be based on, um, your return will be based on like um, three times. Return on investment is three times. So, the most important thing is our your, our exit price is eight hundred thousand euros. You might be wondering why it's too high because we're only getting fifty thousand from you, and the rest of the money we're putting in ourselves because we are already an existing firm and we just need to top up our capital and everything. So, if you'd invest that, I've also had the chance to include the today's post money valuation, which is two hundred which is 2666.666 euros and that shows you that if you do invest in this business chances of you getting the money back are really high because due to our predictions our research and you know our accounting and everything and stuff like that it shows that chances of making money are really high which goes on to the next point showing you a little bit of the prediction on the profit and loss account you know in a year, this is for a year, you know, a year to come if the investment is done. And we have the sales of 280, and you know the opening stock of 4, 4, 4 40,000, purchase of 60,000, and let's close on stock 55,000, and all the other profits. The gross profit will be 165,000. And this shows you that in a year we're able to make 165,000, which is double as much as you investing in the company. So if you're about to get your return, like you know, let's say in you can get your return because you know you you as an investor you have like a higher risk of putting in your money into our business. But then at the same time this shows you that you can get three times of the return like once you put the money in the business because this is only for a year and the exit price is 